So this movie takes us on quite a journey. And so I want you to tell us how this journey has been for you. From day one? From day one. Well, I almost said no to the role. In fact, I think actually for a moment I did say no. But lunch with Brian Singer uh, persuaded me that I was wrong to do that. Thank you, Brian Singer. I can't imagine a world in the whole Wolverine and X-Men uh, world without you. Well, you know, <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell you how this came about. Um, I was doing ADR for a, a, a Richard Donner movie, and uh, I got a note sent to me which said, before you leave the studio, would you uh, call in at Lauren Shuler Donner's office, uh, Dick's wife? And uh, I did go to the office, and uh, the assistant said, the door's open, just go in, and I pushed the door open. And uh, she picked something up off her desk and held it up in front of her, and I said, why are you showing me on the front cover of a comic? And she said, exactly. <laughs> well, so that's how it began, with a, a kind of vote of confidence from our producer. And now your character has evolved uh, from the last time that we've seen him. He's in a different uh, state of mind. Um, what do you think that audience, how do you think audiences are going to react to, to this Charles? It, it's very polite of you to call it an evolution. In fact, it, to be honest, it's a disintegration. Um, it, it, when we meet Charles in this uh, episode of the X-Men, uh, he is fragmenting, seriously falling apart. Not only at risk to himself, but a massive risk to others. There is an instability in his mind which can create mayhem in the outside world, a serious mayhem. Um, that was intriguing because <clears throat> there was 17 years of being the calm, controlled intellectual that was Charles Xavier and then to explore what would happen if this person were to disintegrate was the kind of thing that actors just relish. What have you loved the most about playing him? I have loved the experience of the companionship that I found with my colleagues on, on this project. Um, uh, ranging from getting to know actors who I had admired for a long time better uh, Halle Berry, Anna Paquin, James Marsden, and uh, finally becoming close, deep friends with a man who I had admired at close range for a long time, Ian McKellen. Um, it was only because we spent so many hours in our adjoining trailers during the long times that you wait for the cameras to roll that he and I found that we had much in common, and that has developed not just into a serious friendship, but also into collaboration. I've just finished doing six months on stage with Ian in London. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Made in Hollywood TV. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and for the next awesome video, click right here. Click in that box right there, right there, super easy.